the review board. All items are presumed to be tasty. Hey everybody, welcome. Old guy is here, and I am again joined by Val from Trippy Foods. And on this special edition of the review board, um, Val and I have reviewed, or are going to review a couple of items. Uh, the first thing we reviewed was the uh, Oreo popcorn. Oreo popcorn. Um, if you want to see us, yeah, we got a good upside upside down bag so we don't pour it in our lap. Get upside down. But uh, there we go. <laughs> we reviewed the uh, uh, cookie popcorn Oreos on uh, Val's channel. So if you want to watch that and you haven't seen it already, the link's down below. Please go down and check it out. And on my channel now, we are going to review this uh, Mountain Dew Frostbite. Yeah, Mountain Dew. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Um, I just happened to be in Walmart which is the only place you can get it. And I, I think it might even be seasonal as well. Well, it used to be seasonal, but I think uh, I think this year they made it uh, permanent. Oh, okay. But it as you said, it's only available at Walmart. It is only available at Walmart. And we've only, I've only seen it in cans. So Correct. You, you, so you can't get the individual bottles of it. I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe some other Walmarts might have them, but I doubt it. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're what, like a thousand miles away from each other? And uh, at your Walmart and my Walmart, they only have in cans, so I have a feeling it's only in cans. It probably is. <laughs> I, I, I felt a little funny buying a case of these in case they suck, but you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I it guess. Wasn't, it was like four bucks or five bucks or something like that, so you know, what's the worst, hey, that, what's the worst that could happen? Worst guy, give them out at Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> You know, what'd you get? I got a Reese's cup. How about you? I got a can of Mountain Dew. I got a can of Mountain Dew. <laughs> Better than a rock. So, Tom, I'm trying to figure out what, what this is supposed to be, because usually usually they, they have some sort of flavor. Like, I think one of the um, one of the Baja something, Baja Blast or something, uh, one of the Baja ones were pineapple flavored, but it, they specifically told you it's pineapple flavored. This one, as far as I can tell, is shark flavored. Because uh, there's, I don't see anything on the can at all that kind of indicates that it's going to have any specific type of coloring. I mean, of, of, of flavoring. Uh, it just says natural and artificial flavor, but it doesn't say what that natural, that natural or artificial flavor is. Oh, so, like, do you I, have any I, idea? I do. I, I looked online, and because I couldn't see anything either, and I was interested. Um, and it's a melon flavor. Melon. Oh, melon. that's weird. Because they have the uh, what is it? The major melon. Major melon, yeah, right? They have the major melon, which is so obviously a major melon. different type of melon, I guess. But it did say melon. I'm, I'm pretty but sure. It, so I wonder why they went with the name frostbite. So that that kind of indicates to me that it's like some sort of make, maybe melon with with like some sort of mint uh, or something like that, and makes it like cool tasting or something. That's a good question. I, I guess the only way we're going to find out is to crack them open and yeah. take a drink. <laughs> the other thing is, there's a picture of a shark breaking through ice. I don't know how that often happens in real life. Yeah, well, I mean, it happens in cartoons all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, in, in cartoons, you run off a cliff and you just stand there until you look down and see that you're off a cliff and then you Then you fall, right. <laughs> yeah, cartoon physics. All right, I'm gonna use my meat jar here. Oh, it has a funny smell. Oh yeah, look at that. It's kind of a Ooh, blue. It's tidy bowl. Yeah, <laughs> tidy bowl blue, or uh, what was that? Uh, dish Whiz. soap uh, that Madge used to soak her. Oh, palm olive. Palm olive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Smurf Whiz. Smurf Whiz. That smells interesting. Yeah. Does it smell like melon though? Uh, maybe. I don't know. It is. It is a. It is a weird color. I feel weird drinking this. I feel like. I feel like uh, like it's a movie prop for some sort of like scientific experiment. It's like, no, go ahead and drink the whole thing. You know, the like, only time I see blue like this is blue raspberry. So it's gonna want to- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. 
wow, that tastes way different than I thought it might. But then again, I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. It almost tastes like, um, it almost tastes like some sort of punch. Not like Hawaiian punch, not, not that, that, that like cherry-ish kind of flavor, but it, it's almost like a punch flavor, like it's a combination of things. Yeah, I'm kind of getting a, you know, if I'm thinking about melon, I get kind of like a, like maybe a honeydew-ish yeah. flavor, yeah. Mm -hmm. but there's also like a citrus aspect to it too. Well, you know what it might be? It might be that it's built on like regular Mountain Dew, which Mountain Dew has like a citrus flavor, right? Which right, is, right. is it lemon lemon and lime maybe? What is a, what is a, a regular Mountain Dew? What is that flavor? I think it's uh, lemon and orange, I think maybe. I'm not is, it, is, it, is that what it is, lemon and orange? I don't know. Yes. Sure. So it could be the, that, it could be based on that with, with extra, which melon flavor in it. I mean, it's definitely not watermelon. That's about that flavor. Uh, I really, the major melon was okay, but I'm not a fan of watermelon flavored things. Yeah, well, especially if they're not, you know, not really watermelon flavored. Right, well, um, artificial stuff. Yeah, I would say like, like maybe like a honeydew or even a cantaloupe flavor, <laughs> you know? Yeah, this, it's, it's definitely one of the, tastes like one of the denser melons, not like watermelon at all but it's still kind of vague yeah yeah it, it's it's as sweet as a as a regular mountain dew um I, I like i just i just to me i hear the name frostbite and i think it's something they're really refreshing now this is just like out of my refrigerator so it's cold but I, but i just thought it was going to be like more refreshing like you know with that, that, that you know like a like a mint flavored thing and it has that kind of cooling mint thing I, I thought it was going to be like that and it's kind of not so i'm not sure like i'm not sure where they get the whole name frostbite maybe it's just kind of a gimmicky thing or something yeah maybe that could be it frostbite and then the color of the blue unless it's something that they came out with in winter time maybe that i don't could, know that could be it could be it's i not, mean it's not bad it's not bad oh no, it's okay. um i don't know it's it's kind of a, like a nondescript flavor i mean really like like I, I kind of get hint of melon, but it's not like overwhelming melon flavor. There's other things in there, like you said. There's some. It's, there's something. It's something citrusy in there, so which make which leads me to believe that they take Mountain Dew, and they mix whatever melon thing is with like regular flavored Mountain Dew. It just seems kind of like a jumble of stuff. It seems. It just seems vague. It does. It does. But it, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So no, um, I would give it on a trippy foods uh, rating. I I'd give it kind of a thumbs in the middle, leaning Trending up. up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would say the it's same thing. It's not bad at all, it's just, you know, kind of right there, you know. <laughs> and and then and then if, if I was using your rating system, I would have to give it a pass, uh, only yep. because it's like, well, the, the thing is, is like, knowing that it's melon, I don't know that it really delivers on the melon thing. It's not terrible, but it's really, to me, it's kind of vague. So it's yeah. it's somewhere in the middle. It's not guilty and it's not uh, it's not innocent. So um, so to me, I would I would have to give it a pass. Yeah, you know? me too. And uh, thank you, Bill. I appreciate it. You know, it's always fun doing these videos with you. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think the next one we have we have planned is uh, another cooking thing, another uh, another uh, thing. And I won't give anything away. We've got some, yeah, we got a little couple things in the works, so mm -hmm. y'all be sure to tune in. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. Be sure to check out Val's channel. There is a link down below when we reviewed that Oreo popcorn. Y'all take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next time.